Hey, Trishita, and I'm super excited to bring you a week in my life as an entrepreneur. Okay, let's back up a second. I was going to make a vlog this week about everything I did this week, take you outside, show you my city, Mexico City, if you don't know. I've been living here for a couple of years, and to show you what a whole week in my life is like, but it is, it's hitting close to 90 degrees every day for the past week, and it, we're expected to hit those degrees again, that those temperatures again this upcoming week. Um, and I live in a city that doesn't have a lot of air conditioning. Like most buildings don't have air conditioning. Some some stores and stuff do, but a lot of them don't. Um, and so being outside when I don't need to in 90 degree weather, when like cars, them taxes and Ubers ain't putting on the air conditioning. <laughs> the buses I take don't have no air conditioning. So I'm probably gonna be inside. So instead of showing you a week and like, oh, this is what I do, let's, let's go here, let's go there. I'm gonna show you what I do at my desk. But I'm gonna walk you through all the different things and um, how they impact my business and the different ways that the work that I do creates a business. I'll show you that. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited about this. It is Sunday morning and if you watch my other channel, Rashida Dow, then you know that I'm about to go live with um, my regular viewers. I go live every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So I'm about to go do that. And that is part of the work that I do because doing that helps me um, main create and maintain an audience that um, becomes community, right? And having an audience is one thing, but having a community is something else when you're trying to run a business, right? Um, having my community, Exodus community, the, um, the community that I started when I did a summit with my business partner in 2020 and is still going strong. We have over 10,500 black women in there and seeing it thrive and grow um, has been amazing. But a lot of the growth comes because people get to know us from the YouTube videos that we do. And then they're like, oh, they're resonating with us, so I'll join the community. So, let me show y'all what it looks like when I go live. It's just gonna be me talking to the computer, but you get to see. See you, I'm about to go do that in a minute. Oh, actually, before I do that, I'm going to record a couple of um, videos, just kind of as voiceovers-ish for um, some content that I needed to create a while ago and I haven't done. But since I'm here, I'm early. I'm dressed, let's do it now. Hey, 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 okay, about running my business, I do a lot of things on camera. Um, most people will tell you to like, record one video and then change your shirt and record another video and change your shirt, and record another video and change your shirt. But after a couple of years, I realized nobody cares. Nobody cares what you're wearing, what you're doing. They care what you're talking about, right? Um, and so I'm not doing all that. I'm not. So today I'm recording the intro for two videos and I'm going live in the same outfit. Nobody cares. I promise you they don't. So, oh, the intro, I'm going live. I'm recording two, the intro for two videos and I'm recording this video for y'all. So four videos, same look. Don't make it hard on yourself. You can change, right? Especially in the beginning, I was like, yes, different. Nah, nah. You know, I have a bunch of clothes, so might as well wear them. But now I'm like, if there's any kind of barrier to getting the work done, like changing and finding four outfits for every day as opposed to one outfit for every day, it's just gonna make it harder and I don't need to make it harder on myself. So little tip from me to you, make it as easy as possible to get it done. Especially when it's things people don't care about and might not even notice. All right, off to record another video. All right, all right now, I'm about to go live. It is Sunday, just before 9 a.m. I'm a little bit late for this live, so let me go ahead and get started. <laughs> Good 
Good Monday morning. I am sitting at my desk. I'm getting ready to go uh, live in a Zoom call with a friend. Um, I don't normally do any work on Monday morning and this isn't really work, but kind of. Um, I, my computer. Um, I, this is someone that I know socially but it's also doing work for us for Exodus Summit. And she hit me up last night and was like, can we meet um, in the next few days? So I was like, sure, you know, I go, whatever. I'll meet tomorrow. Because one of the things about running a community and running an event like Exodus Summit is that a lot of what we do is about relationships. And so if someone who I've worked with before is like, hey, can we meet? I'm nine times out of 10, I'm about to be like, yes, what's up? Um, even if it's a Monday morning and I could be sleeping. <laughs> Uh, I picked this time, so it's not that bad. I would have been awake anyway. I've been awake for hours. Um, but yeah, so I don't do like actual client work on Mondays, but because this was more of a social like, hey, let's catch up, let's talk moment, I was like, yeah, I can do that. So Monday morning, just wash my hair. Um, I show up all the time to Zooms, especially that aren't like on camera in front of an audience. I show up as I am. So I just got out of the shower. I'm wearing... Um, leggings that don't match, <laughs> tanked up, do not care. It's just, you get me how I am, and that's how I run my business. So yeah, uh, she just showed up, so I'm about to go join her, and I'll see you guys later because I have some more work to do today. Roshida? Sí, gracias. Hola todos, it is me. I have changed locations. It's about 12 o'clock. Um, I had my get together, which actually turned into a business meeting at 8 a.m. And then I grabbed my computer and I was like, I'm gonna sit on this couch and edit. But editing is the thing I procrastinate the most on. And yesterday, I'm at Starbucks. And today I'm Rushira. A little spicy for you. Rushira. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, I, on my live yesterday, I promised that the uh, storage unit video vlog was going to be out tomorrow. So I need to spend a couple hours working on it today. I got on my couch around like 8.30 and was like, I'm going to get this done right now. And then I proceeded to chill on the couch, upright, 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 upright. <laughs> so I wasn't upright no more. So around like 10.15, I was like, get in the bed and take a nap. Yes, 10 15 in the morning. I took a nap. Uh, but I've been up, I woke up at 4 this morning. I couldn't go back to sleep. So I'm giving myself grace about that. No worries. Take a nap at 10 if that's what you needed. Because I went to sleep. I went to sleep, woke up around 11.30. Um, and now it's 12. I'm here. And I'm going to start editing. So I came to the coffee shop because I wanted to leave the house. Because anything that I procrastinate on, I tend to do better when I'm out of the house. So out of the house now. I'm coming to get this done. The uh, meeting this morning happened to be with a woman who wanted to talk to me about something that I wanted to talk to her about, but I didn't really want to talk about it. So that worked out really, really well. Um, like I said, I'm gonna edit for a couple. Of, uh, I'm gonna edit for a couple of hours, maybe two, and then that's it for me for today. I don't have any other work I need to get done today. Um, that's that's our plan. So I will get to work and I'll catch you guys up later, I guess. Who's in this coffee? Gushira's coffee. Me sure. All right, y'all. Hey, it is about 2.30, so I've been here a little over two hours, which I thought meant I'd get the whole video done, but I did not. 
So, um, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home and have like another 20 minutes of video to edit, but I need to use the bathroom. And there's no bathroom like my bathroom. So I'm gonna go do that. And then I will edit some more. But I'm gonna get this vlog done today. It's going out tomorrow. No matter what. Hey, hey, I'm back. I'm inside my apartment. Um, got back because I've been sitting for two hours straight and I'm gonna sit some more right now to do some more editing and finish this off. I really wanna get it done today before and release it tomorrow because Adelia is heavily featured in this vlog. So I wanna make sure she has a chance to watch it in advance to make sure there's nothing in there that she would like to take out that I didn't think about, that I didn't catch. So my goal is to get that at least in draft form of today. Um, okay, back from yoga, back from working, editing, came back, uh, did about 10, about 15 minutes of yoga, really focused on hip openers because I was sitting for two hours and now I'm gonna sit to edit some more. Um, I have my curtain open right now to get a little bit of light on my face, but because it's so hot outside, because and because my windows face directly west, which means we get a lot of heat in the afternoon, I have to keep my <laughs> blinds, my, uh, blackout curtains closed in all my rooms. So this is what it looks like in here. It, and it's very like, this doesn't even indicate how dark it is. It's very, very dark. Okay, so I'm back. I've stretched, I've changed because we don't wear outside clothes inside. Also, there was a dust storm while I was out there, which I've never experienced before in the city. I was sitting there and like, you could see the dust moving down the street. It's got on everything. Um, did the yoga, open my hips up a little bit so I'm not so tight. I recommend that if you're sitting down all day, you take little breaks, do 10 minutes of stretching here and there. Your hips will thank you. Um, and now I'm gonna edit some more. And then I forgot, I told you guys I had nothing else to do today, but I forgot that Stephanie and I are going live on the Exodus, in the Exodus Summit Facebook group later on today to talk about decluttering. So, um, I have something at six, it's three o'clock now and I have it at six. The video should be done and up by then. So I'll talk live about decluttering. And then after that, <laughs> we'll be done by at least 7.30. Um, after that, I have nothing else to do today. All right now, happy Juneteenth. A little lunch before I get started editing. It's a little after nine and I just got back from the gym. Um, I have found that if I get on the treadmill at the gym in the evenings, come back, take a shower, eat some food, when my head hits that pillow, I'm out. And this is just a walk. So I'm trying to, I haven't been sleeping that well. So I'm trying to incorporate this as like a more daily thing. It doesn't have to be, today it was like 40 minutes of like a moderately paced walk. Okay. <clears throat> but I'm here because I told you guys earlier that I was going to go live in the Exodus on a Facebook group and then on my first day of vlogging my work week I forgot to record that <laughs> so there's no vlogging of that but I also as I was thinking about my treadmill on the treadmill I was like you know the ideas come I was like oh I completely forgot that I think there's a lesson here and that lesson is things are gonna happen you're gonna forget things right like in business when you're running a business when it's just you running a, especially a solo business, if you're a solopreneur, balls will drop. Ball, the balls you juggle <laughs> will drop, right? Um, things will happen. You plan on vlogging something and then you're like, I completely forgot. Um, you're not gonna meet all your own self-imposed deadlines. You're not gonna remember to do everything you said you were gonna do. And that's just the way it is. So there's no video of me being, I mean, there's a video of me being in the Exodus on my Facebook group. I will share it in the comments if I remember. If I don't, I don't. I'll share it in the description if I remember um, for people who are in the group if they wanna see it if they haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, daily, I forget things that I said I was gonna do or deadlines that I had or something. Um, 
Typically, if it involves somebody else, I'm much more likely to remember it. But things are just for me. I just like for me running my own business, frequently forget. So I have a planner and it starts on Mondays and I didn't do any planning today. I'll do some probably tomorrow or I'll forget. Um, just to kind of plan out my week a little bit better. But for now, you see how, you see the sweaty glow. So I'm gonna go shower. You hear that dog in the background too? Can you hear that? I'm gonna shower. I'll find something in the fridge to eat. And go sleep. Sleep, sleep. Um, which means my head will be on the pillow by 10. It's a little after 9 now. What time is it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, and then I'll do it all over tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow I will be a little bit more on the ball about recording things for you guys. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Good morning. It's Rashida. It is just before 7 a.m. on Tuesday. We're about to go live on my second YouTube channel, Rashida Doe, and I'm gonna do a co-working session. As you saw, let me see what time it is now, make sure I stay on track. I've got two minutes to do this. Okay, as you saw yesterday, if I only work when I want to work, you see what happens. I sit down to work and I go take a nap. Um, especially if I don't have any real deadlines for things. So, I've been doing these co-working sessions so that I have a time, two hours, twice a week, so that I have a time where I have to get stuff done. Because if I don't, <laughs> people are expecting me to be here, right? It's, it's the people are expecting me to be here, like I said last night, that will make me remember to do it, remember to show up, but also do the work. Because otherwise, like I said, I might still be in bed scrolling on my phone. I woke up at 6.30 and I was like, yeah, I don't want to do anything. And then around like 6.43, I was like, you're supposed to be online in 17 minutes. You should go do that. So I'm about to go do that. Um, and I will, I'll record while I do this, give you a little time lapse of the action. Okay, just got done with co-working. Did a solid two hours, which took about two hours and 15 minutes with breaks in between. I really like it because I get so much stuff done. So I just, uploaded the video but I want to release today the vlog about my storage unit and I wrote my description and I put in the keywords and all the stuff to get it ready. Um, YouTube is uploading it now and then after it uploads I'll process it so it'll take some time, a couple more hours before I can get it live. Um, Today's not a normal day for me though. This week isn't a normal week, even though I'm vlogging this week about what my work week is. It's not a typical work week because in about 15 minutes, I'm going to start another, wait my computer for another hour and a half because I am doing a, an educational thing. I'm doing a, um, a, I'm attending a workshop this week about making your summits better. So I will be attending that. I saw it um, and I was like, yeah, let's see what we can do. So. I'm gonna spend the next three days, about an hour and a half, it's scheduled for an hour and a half each day. We'll see how long it actually goes. Uh, the next three days working on stuff to make my summit, our summit in the fall better. Which y'all know is already really good. <laughs> Let's see how much better we can make it. Um, I think we're gonna focus on things like marketing and getting more eyes on sales pay, that kind of stuff. So like better in what way, you know. It's about um, making your last, your your future, your next summit better than your last summit, but I think it's more like better as far as sales go. But I'll see when I go today. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing more work than I would this week because I'm attending this session. And normally I would, my day would pretty much be done right now. Um, it is 9.15, gotta be online for them at 9.30, so I'm gonna say goodbye to you. I'll be back here in 15 minutes for more stuff. See you guys later. All right, it's 15 minutes later and it's time to start the next meeting. Let's go. I'm gonna put you on time lapse again.
right, so that session was supposed to be over at 11 o'clock my time. It's now 10.40 my time. It's already over, we ended early. So guess what? I have nothing else to do on my calendar today except for, I have a Pilates class later. So I'm gonna make sure that that video uploaded. I'm going to um, publish it once YouTube is done checking it. And then I'm going to work on I'm working on. I'm going to work on the video that I want to release on Thursday, which is an update on my prior video that I did two years ago. Um, so my best performing videos, which is why I want to do it. And the information has changed since then. So it's time to do that and then chill for the next seven hours of not having anything to do. <laughs> anything like scheduled. So yes, yeah, so even though I this isn't normally something I would do, I still have most of the day to myself. Um, I'll go to Pilates around six, but for the rest of the day, I think I'll chill. I'm a little tired. Not like yesterday where I needed a nap, but I think some like chill couch time would be good for me right now. So I'm gonna go do that. It's 12.30 now, um, I've been working non-stop since the last time, whatever time that was, I got out of that meeting. I've really been working since 7 a.m. So I'm going to take a nap. I still haven't done any planning for the day. Just working, no planning. But I'm going to go take a nap now because I feel like it. So I'm gonna close up these curtains and the rest to make it dark in my entire apartment, dark and cool because it's really hot outside. And the sun, in the afternoon sun, comes in aggressively and then I'll start over again in the afternoon doing some more stuff maybe actually doing the planning I've been talking about doing for two days we'll see all right y'all it's about three something what is it three it's almost 3 30 I woke up from my nap around 2 30 so I my cousin for a little bit I'm going to now snack on my personal pan charcuterie plate and um finish a bit of the notes that I need for the video I want to record tomorrow and then I have Pilates at 6 I'll probably leave here around 5 30 so like two hours um, of work but knowing myself when I work when I don't have like a deadline or anything I really really need to get done because I, I say I want to record it tomorrow but maybe I'll record it next week who cares right um, I'll probably work slow I'm watching something now um, so I'll watch that while I make my notes. So it'll probably be like a little slow day of work, easy work. Uh, so I'm gonna cruise into that now. And then after I am done with Pilates, I'm pretty much done for the day. I'm gonna be like moving towards bed, dinner in bed. Hey, uh, it is nine, almost 9.30. I went to Pilates, walked back home, was unable to move. <laughs> Absolutely unable to move for about an hour. Um, and then got ready for bed. It's 9.30 now. I normally wouldn't, I haven't brought my, camp, my laptop to bed with me in A while a long while um, but I have it now because I still haven't done the planning we talked about and I need to do it so just to tell you what I've been talking about when I talk about planning I use for myself and the different my personal life my business life and um, Exodus Summit I use four different Google calendars and they all show up on my phone I can get on my phone I can get everything all the calendars in one place but not on my computer. And so each week what I do is I go into my phone 
and I write down all the things, all the appointments I have and all the things I need to do on my actual physical planner. And then I go back and I make my to-do list based on that. So like Thursday morning, today's Tuesday, Thursday morning, I'm going to do another um, work with me session, but I need to schedule that in advance. So I need to do that tomorrow's Wednesday. Wednesday's normally a day off. Um, scheduling that won't take long. I could actually do it tonight. Um, it's the same thumbnail. I need to get in the stream yard. It'll take me like probably a minute to get it done or less um, if I use the existing thumbnail. If I make a new thumbnail, like three minutes. Um, so I'll do that and then I'll do the planning. So that kind of thing. I have to go back and figure out if I have this appointment on Friday, what do I need to get done for that? So I put all that stuff in the calendar. So I'm gonna do that for a little while now and then bed. I did in the past 15 minutes. Come on, but I wrote things down when I did them. I took them off the list because if they weren't on the to-do list before I did them, they should be on the to-do list after I did them so I can get the satisfaction of making that check mark. Okay, I created the post for, I created and scheduled a post in my YouTube community for the weekly hangout I do over Zoom for members of my channel. I created a new, a, a real quick thumbnail for co-working to make it simpler for myself. I just kind of switch out a photo each week, but I don't change anything else. Um, and then I scheduled the next co-working session, which is on Thursday. So I could have done it today or I could have done it tomorrow, but since I'm here with my computer, I just got it out of the way. I also put up a post in YouTube on my other channel telling people to go over there to watch it. All right, so I scheduled that post and yeah, that's it. 15 minutes and now off to bed. And then tomorrow, tomorrow should be a really, tomorrow could be a really easy day because the only, th Wednesdays are normally my day of no work. But because I have that workshop that I mentioned before, that I did this morning about making or improving your summit performance year over year, um, because I have that, I'll do work tomorrow. Because if I'm gonna do one kind of work, usually like on Wednesdays, I try to do an adventure day and hit the city and do something, something, something. I am gonna do something in the evening, a social thing, but during the day, since I have to work as a be at the computer anyway, I'll probably add on another couple hours of stuff, probably filming the video that I outlined today and starting edits on that. So yeah, I think tomorrow should be easy. I'll start some surprises. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are my easiest days. Tuesdays and Thursdays typically have more, a little bit more work. So this was, what you saw today was like a heavy work day for me heavy work day and I had a workshop to attend that I don't normally do so super heavy for me um compared to what I normally do all right y'all have a good night hey hey it is Wednesday morning Wednesday is typically my day off but like I said last night I have a workshop Tuesday Wednesday Thursday of this week um and so I was going to try to get even more done this week since I have to do the workshop today. But I'm feeling so low energy today. I just ate some food. I did the workshop. I attended the workshop yesterday from my desk in my office. But today I'm going to attend the workshop from the couch. I'll be on my laptop laying down with the camera off because I'm feeling very, very blah. My hope was to record a YouTube video today. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Um, I also had plans to do something social this afternoon. If my, hopefully I'll feel better. Maybe I need a nap. 
but it's like 9 a.m. and I haven't done anything, so I don't think that's it. I and I slept well last night, so I don't know, but feeling very, very blah. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but it's workshop time now, so let me get to it. Okay, that workshop is over. Today was more helpful than yesterday. And we got some good ideas, not a lot. Um, the woman who's running this workshop, her business model, her summit business model, doesn't align with ours exactly. So there are recommendations she makes that would hurt the business, make it less successful against any possible metric you could use. Um, and so I kind of have to ignore a bunch of her advice, but there are some gems. So I was able to like pick out a few gems um, of things that would be helpful for me, for us this year. Um, and ask a question that I think got some insights on like small points. Um, like I said, I was supposed to be filming a video. I told myself I wanted to film a video today because I did all the work yesterday getting my notes ready. I'm good to go. All I gotta do is put on some clothes and sit on my computer and press record. But I don't want to. I'm feeling very, very blah today. Um, so I'm gonna go lay down. I might not nap, but I'm gonna be vertical. So I'm gonna do that. Maybe if I'm feeling better this afternoon and I'm feeling like leaving the house to go hang out with my friends like I had planned, maybe um, before, since I have to get dress, dressed for that anyway, maybe I'll record before I leave to go do that. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. All right. Bye. Hey, 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 good morning. It is Thursday at 7 a.m. So I'm about to start my um, co-working session now. Uh, yesterday I did that workshop that ended around 10.30 and then I kind of disappeared because I realized a couple hours later <clears throat> the reason I was feeling so tired was because I had an elevated temperature. My body wasn't doing so well yesterday. I had some muscle aches. Uh, my temperature is back to normal today, so we move on. Um, I'm going to host this co-working session for two hours and then do the last day of the summit workshop and then try to get some other stuff done. Okay, y'all. It's about that time. Um, our two-hour Powerpoint session is over. Um, I spent the last 30 minutes looking for speakers for the 2023 Exodus Summit. I'm super excited about that. I know you guys are too when we finally announce who the speakers are. Um, but we can't announce it now because we all know. We don't know. Um, so I am going to do that and I will. Uh, I'm a little delirious still. Um, I have 10 minutes until the next thing I gotta sit at this desk for, which is a workshop about how to improve your sonnets. So I'm doing that this week, um, and that'll be a little while. But yes, those minutes went fast. I gotta run off and go do. Gotta run off and go do. more work and I hope you guys got stuff done I hope you guys got lots of stuff done um, and I will see you here next Tuesday and we will work together we will get more work together you guys are helping me your energy is helping me get this Exodus Summit thing planned out the door the way you want it so the more you're here you commune with my brain and you send me the vibes you want the more you go get the summit you want so talk to you later bye this was fun All right, so uh, like I just said, I just finished two hours of co-working, which was really two hours and 19 minutes if you count the breaks in between. 
<clears throat> I've got 10 minutes before the next thing I have on my calendar. And then later on this evening, I have the Zoom session for my membership, but the workshop ends at 10.30 and the Zoom session is at seven. So between 10.30 and seven, I have nothing on my calendar free time to do whatever I want. If I feel better than I did yesterday, I'll record the YouTube video I've been talking about because I have outlined all the notes. I have everything I need. I just need to sit down in some real clothes. <laughs> Not somebody just woke up, let me throw something on clothes. <laughs> sit down and uh, record it and then edit it. I could get it up today if I wanted to. But if I'm not feeling great, you know I'm going to be chilling on that couch. So we'll see what happens after this workshop is over. Yesterday after the workshop was over, I was like, I can't move at all. And the reason I knew something was wrong, I was just like, I feel very blah, very blah, very blah. Very much not like moving. And then I had a neck pain. And then my neck pain is typically like the beginning, this first sign of muscle soreness. And I was like, exhausted for no apparent reason, because I slept and muscle soreness. Why don't I take my temperature? And I did, and it was elevated. So today I chill and hopefully I'll be feeling better. Working right now on finding speakers for Exodus Summit. Super excited about that. Actually, let me talk to you guys about this for a second. Um, I am, the workshop I've been attending this week has been helpful, but it's weird because no one else attending, including the woman who's running it, has a summit as their business model, right? They use a summit to launch other products as one kind of like arrow in their quiver of their business, like they'll do like classes and coaching and they, they use the summit to sell their classes and coaching and all the other stuff. But no one has like summits as their main model. And I'm telling you, it is a great main model, right? So in hearing them, like they'll do a different summit each year, like a different kind of thing. Sometimes they'll do four small summits a year. Um, And I'm like, are we the only people on the planet where the summit is like the core of our business? Because why is nobody else doing this? Um, and maybe if we hadn't started with the summit, maybe it wouldn't be the core of our business as well. But it is. The, um, the person I'm learning from this week because she doesn't do things the way we do things it's challenging to learn applicable things like I know that if I read if I used her business model where I was just using a summit to launch other things I could learn a lot from her um, and she gives helpful tips but our helpful tips are rarely helpful for me and for the summit our summit because i'm not gonna do things the way you do things and one of the reasons i'm not gonna do things the way you do things is because her highest grossing summit dollars wise her highest gro grossing summit didn't make one third of what our our highest grossing summit did and so it's not her main model so she can do that but it is our main business model so we needed to make money um she doesn't need it to make money because she you know what i mean like she will sell something at the end of her summit so like this time today i know that as i go into this workshop day three is going to be a sales pitch for something she does this is day three for a program first this accelerator and I thought it might be helpful, but after doing her workshop, I know it's not going to be because the things she's recommending aren't things that we can do in a business model that focuses on summits. So that's a shame. Um, I like her. I think she's a good teacher. <clears throat> but 
there was an area where she's talking about industry standards and there was an area where we're in the industry standard but we're like the low end of the industry standard and she was like my goal is to get my clients like almost three times the industry standard or the low end of it almost three times where we are and i was like yes that sounds amazing but then yesterday when she talked about how to do it it was don't charge anybody to attend the summit. And I was like, yes, more people might sign up. <laughs> more people might sign up if they could attend the summit for free. But that's not what this is. And I don't need to go into this right now, but one of the reasons we don't do that is because every individual every ticket holder requires some amount of work right and if the tickets are free then we're doing the work with no money coming in <laughs> um she's doing the work for a summit as a sales pitch this is the difference we're doing the work we're selling the summit and that's it boom we're giving this information, what we think is valuable, and run, run, go with it. She's using, and lot, most people, and this isn't a judgment against it, because it's that's how most people use their summits. They use their summits as a, the beginning, middle, or end of a sales pitch. Um, but since we're not doing that, it doesn't make sense. Like, it makes sense for them to do it for free because they get more people in their funnel. They'll get way more people in their funnel, and they'll sell, so they'll sell to more people. But more people in our funnel doesn't, and our summit funnel doesn't matter to us if we don't sell tickets because that's our business model. Anyhow, long way of saying the business models don't quite align. So it's a helpful workshop, but not as helpful as it would be if we aligned closer. But no one I know does summits the way we do summits. I don't know. So we're out here being groundbreaking i tell you groundbreaking anyway i'm about to go actually i'll leave that on for a second because i'm about to start this let me find the link um then i'll put you guys on hold i love running a summit you know we made multiple six figures on the last summit We each left with more than six figures ourselves. Each one of us. That's a lot of work. Like I'm, it's June and we're already in prep for an October summit, right? And so I think that's, there's a good point here about not discounting. Like our summit is three days and we'll really start prep in August, like super hard, going really hard. But since June, we've been doing a little bit each week, doing a little bit. And so if you look at what it costs to run your business, it probably doesn't make sense to, or when you look at what it costs for other people to run their business, it doesn't make sense to discount what it costs. I don't think we're gonna be like, why are tickets, why do you have to charge for tickets? Francis is working on this. I'm working on this. Stephanie's working on this. And we're all going to work on it from, um, from June to October, right? That's why. <laughs> That's why, right? Um, we have three team members and we're probably gonna hire a fourth team member to work on this. So that fourth team member is gonna be working full time from now-ish until the summit. And that's why we have to pay people. We pay our speakers. Um, we pay affiliate, we pay, we pay. We don't believe in black women not being paid and that includes us. It includes us, we get paid. All right, so this is starting. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna stop this for a second. Okay, so uh, it is 10.42 and the workshop is over. I'm gonna take a break now until about 11.30, I'm giving myself some time, 11.30, and then I'm going to probably film a video. Woo, all right, off to go do nothing. Hey y'all, I just filmed a video, which is why I look like this. Um, but I forgot to show you the behind the scenes of filming the video. So I'll have to do that in a future video. <laughs> it's a video about um, the top cities in Mexico for people moving there. But yeah, I completely forgot to like show you guys what it looked like when I was filming. But the filming's done, which I've been talking about for days, so that's done. I'm probably gonna edit this afternoon, but right now I'm going to undo this. I'm going to eat some more food, and then I think I'm gonna go to the gym and walk on the treadmill for a while, maybe come back, take a nap, and then commit to doing some editing this afternoon. I can't believe I didn't show you all that. <laughs> I guess that means more like week in the life videos, huh? Because <laughs> a mess. Good morning. It is Friday, which means it's Exodus Summit Day. Stephanie and I have been meeting on Friday mornings since 2020. <laughs> so years. We meet once a week, Friday morning, unless like when we're like in the month the summit's happening, like a few weeks before we start doing it like twice a week. But for now, once a month year round. And today we're going to talk about potential speakers. So I'm super excited about this. So yeah. I uh, meet, it's 8 p.m. Eastern time, nope, 8 p.m. my time. We'll meet until, it's scheduled for an hour, but a lot of times it goes an hour and a half or two because we like talking to each other. Um, and that's it for my Friday. That's usually it for my Fridays. My Fridays are super light. Um, if I have work I need to do for Exodus, I'll do it on Fridays after these meetings. Uh, but typically, because most year round, we're not really doing active work for the summit. Um, just with nothing to do, so this is gonna be it, I think. Yay! All right, y'all, I'm in a meeting with the famous Stephanie Perry. Stephanie, is there anything you'd like to say to my audience? Um, hello, everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic week. We are. That's it. Okay, we are. Oh, and we're doing, we're working on some very exciting things for Exodus Summit 2023. The I'm most. I would say the most exciting things yet. Uh, we've done some pretty exciting things. We have, we have, <laughs> we have. And every year we, I get I more excited. About it. I don't, I don't <laughs> she goes, it's going to slip out. This, I can't hold a secret. It's going to slip out. All right, we're getting you off camera now. Bye. Okay, Hey, hey, it is Friday evening, just about 15 minutes after eight. I'm looking kind of crazy, but I am headed to the gym. I think I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I've been getting on the treadmill every evening and like, you know, wearing myself out like a show pony, just walking and walking and walking. Then when I come upstairs, have a little shower, get a little food, and my head hits that pillow, I am out. It's my new cheat code for going to sleep. I may not stay asleep all night, but I'd go to sleep. So I'm about to do that, but um, this was a really good day. I had my meeting with Stephanie this morning um, and I was just here, I was working. We got, we sent an offer to a keynote speaker that I'm super, super, super excited about. And so I was just finishing the final touches on that um, at eight o'clock on a Friday. It's funny because like, you know, today I hung out with a friend and had breakfast and then I went to get ice cream with her and then I came back and I took a nap. 
life of an entrepreneur is just getting the stuff done when it's got to get done. So I was like, oh, I need to get this emailed to her agent today. So let me get this done before I hit the gym. Um, also today we figured out some other speakers that we want for the um, for the summit and we're gonna start inviting them. Yay. This is like when we know we're in progress. We figured out themes and things and we're ready. Mm. We're ready to start kicking this into gear. Um, and I finally edited that video I've been talking about. Um, I will upload a video on Friday if I get it done like in the morning, but not Friday evening because I don't wanna, I don't feel like it. Um, so I probably won't upload this again until, probably upload this video on Tuesday. I probably won't upload it before then. I like to do my uploads on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I probably won't upload this video until Tuesday. I have some more stuff to edit. So I can do that this weekend. Um, and yeah, it was a good day. I got everything I needed to get done, done. Feeling good? Feeling great, about to wear myself out, like I said, and then go to sleep. If this speaker comes through, y'all. Mm, all right, if you, I'll let you guess in the comments who it is. I'm, there's no way I'm going to confirm or deny anyone until an announcement is ready to be made. <laughs> but if you want to guess, go ahead and guess in the comments who our keynote speaker for the year, who we just invited to be our keynote speaker for the year. <laughs> so excited. All right. <laughs> Bye. Hey, party people. Mm. My lips are ashy because I just came from yoga and I am dehydrated. Uh, you don't care. Um, I led group coaching this morning for my program for Burnout to Bliss. And I was going to film it for you guys. At least not the people talking, but you know, like me coaching and all that stuff. Um, and I didn't film it for you guys because I completely forgot. Because apparently I'm like a morning person, but not like I remember the stuff I'm supposed to do in the morning person. That's a distinction I hadn't made before, but it's time. So, group coaching was at 8 a.m. to 10. I do it about, about 10, 10, 30 today, we ran over. I do it about once a month, and it literally is the only thing on my calendar that I am, that's a time I'm committed to, to other people. Everything else on my calendar is kind of like a, yeah, I can do it then, or I can not do it then. Like, yes, I have a weekly meeting with Stephanie, but like, there are times where we, like, after a summit or after we do a, like a big thing, we don't meet for months, right? And like, or if I have something going on, I can just tell her like, oh, hey, I'm traveling or something. We don't need to meet. Um, but the only thing that is like a real commitment on my calendar is group coaching. It's also my favorite day of the year. Like my group coaching people are amazing. I had a woman come back today and I was like, I don't remember you. First, she didn't turn her camera on so I didn't see her face. I only saw a photo and it's a different photo than the one she had last time. And she hasn't been there for over a year. But when she came back today, she came back to tell me that she was on sabbatical. Like she completely disappeared. But she went through a course, she did the program, and she's on sabbatical right now. And I'm like, yes, this is what it's about, right? Like as an entrepreneur, like I love making an impact in people's lives. I like making money. I will never be shy about that. I like making money because I like spending money. In order to spend money, you have to have money. <laughs> Even if it's somebody else's money, you got to have some money, right? Um, but having her come back and say like, yes, I am on sabbatical right now. Because, and she like, was like, because of this, because of this program. Another woman joined us. Um, she moved to Ahihik and she joined us from Ahihik um, just to kind of check in and be supportive of the other people in the program who are on their way. And I just love that it's a sisterhood and that we see the progress over time because it's a year program. Most people are in there for more of an year though. Um, and you get to kind of see the people grow along the way. Uh, and so that's been a really nice part of it. And so, yes, today was an amazing morning. I went to yoga and the yoga class kicked my behind so badly that I walked home like I was a little drunk. Like it was a little like slow. You know when you're like kind of like that drunk walk where you can't really walk straight that was my walk home from yoga so i'm gonna grab some food and you know what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna nap um shower food nap 
And that's it for my week. This is the week in the life of an entrepreneur. I have done a lot and I've done nothing at the same time. What do you guys think? Is there anything that I should have done that I didn't do? Is there anything that I needed to do or I should have didn't did that I shouldn't have done? Tell me you guys think of my week as an entrepreneur. Um, I don't know. It's done. This is besides the workshop that I went to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which I keep saying is atypical. It's really atypical. Um, although usually I'm in some kind of training program because I thoroughly believe that as a business owner, I only get better by getting input from trusted sources, right? And it's not necessarily like looking at something that I created and them giving me like personalized feedback, but like, like in my group coaching program this morning where people could hear other people's stories and kind of say like, oh, this kind of aligns with how I feel on this topic. So let me see how you're handling it, right? So that kind of thing in the business world, I'm typically involved in something like that all year round. I'm not in anything like that, like a long-term thing like that right now, but, um, but the, I'll do like small one-off things like that program I did this week, which it wasn't an expensive program. It was $97. And I got some ideas that I think will be well worth the $97. That's not a big deal. I'll, I'll make more of a $97 back from it. But it really wasn't a good fit for the for Summit that I run, that I co-run with uh, Stephanie Perry. So I didn't get as much value out of it as some other people could have gotten. But I got $97 worth, right? I'll make that back with one or two ideas that I picked up there. But even I emailed. So <laughs> she was selling something on the back end of this workshop. And I emailed her and I was like, do you think this could help? And she was like, no. Based on the way you run a summit and the way I teach people how to run summits, can't help you. So even like the woman who's selling a high price program, her follow-up program, uh, the $97 program that I took led to a $6,000 program. And even though she was selling a $6,000 program, she was very honest and being like, I can't get you where you need to go can do it so I really appreciated that um, I'm gonna see if I can get some like one-off help from her on some things I think she's a great resource but that is a Monday problem and today is Saturday my weeks will restart on Sunday I'll do another live video I have an idea what I want to talk about but I think it might be better as a pre-recorded video so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna talk about on Saturday on Sunday so I guess I do have more work to do today today I'll sit down and think about what topic I want to talk about tomorrow and make a thumbnail for that topic and schedule the live which will take me somewhere around 30 minutes I'm probably not gonna film it though because honestly like I keep forgetting to film I'm a very fake vlogger but I'm sweaty I'm hot I'm tired I'm gonna go shower eat, lay down, and I will talk to you guys another day. Probably another video. This video is probably over. Bye.